Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for tonight. We thank you because you are trustworthy. We can call upon you. We can rely on you. You are the unchangeable changer. You reign us in majesty. Lord God of better, we give you praise. Lord God of better, we magnify you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for showing yourself to be strong on our behalf. This Bible says we are two or three are gathered in his name. There he is in their midst. We are gathered before you again tonight. Lord, we ask that you will show yourself mighty. You will show yourself strong. You will show yourself powerful on our behalf in Jesus' name. Amen. I'd like to invite all of you and uh, ask that you call all your friends so that you can join. It's going to be a great night in the presence of God. It's going to be a night that uh, you'll be glad you are, you are in the prayer meeting, or in the prayer hall, or in the prayer conference, in the name of Jesus. The name of the Lord will glorify himself. Let's take one or two choruses of praise to magnify our God. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood, in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. In the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. Hallelujah. There is power. Mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ, there is power mighty in the blood. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. 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 I plead the blood. The blood of Jesus. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are grateful to you tonight. We bless you for what you have done, for what you are doing, and for what we do. We exalt you, glorious God, for the name that is above every name. The name that conquers the devil. The name that forms terror to the powers of darkness. The name that is highly exalted in heaven. The name that brings blessing to the people of God on earth. We give you all the praise in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, as we gather before you tonight, I pray that your spirit will dwell upon us. Your spirit will gather with us. Lord, as I said with the brother, this month you have given it to us as our month of divine intervention. I'm praying, O oh God, that there is no one 
that we hear this message, that we come on this line tonight, or hear this message going forward, that we not have an encounter in the name of the Lord Jesus. I am praying, God, that, Lord, by your supernatural power, whatever we will call upon you tonight to intervene, you who said in John, in, in, in Romans chapter 8, 10, 8, verse 31, that if God be for us, who can be against us? You who did not spare your only begotten son, but freely gave him, how shall you not freely give us all things? I'm asking that we freely intervene in the matters of our lives tonight, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our God. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Once again, I welcome all of you in Jesus' name. My name is Pastor Dada, and it's my joy to be on the prayer line. Praise God. We are going to continue with our prayer. We want to intensify prayer tonight uh, on the theme of the month, Divine Intervention divine intervention i am asking god in my private prayer public prayer that as many of you that are seeking the face of god to intervene in their matter god who ruleth in the affairs of men god who says call upon me in the day of trouble and i will answer you god who has never lost any war God, who is interested in the things that concerns us, will show up on your case this month in the name of Jesus Christ. He will magnify himself in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, the subtitle I want to give is what I shared uh, yesterday, how to get God to intervene in your matters. How to get God to intervene in your matters. But my focus of prayer today will be to deal with the enemies of our life. The powers that be. Those who said you will not cross over. <laughs> Those who said do whatever you want to do. I will not allow you to go. Those who the Bible says... He hardened the heart of Pharaoh. Those who have hardened their own heart. What some people call stubborn enemies. I want God to intervene for you this month. I want God to intervene for me this month. We all know that uh, there are all manner of challenges we face. Physical challenges, financial challenges. Material challenges, matrimonial challenges, academic challenges, everything can be classified. But the good thing we know is that God has power to confront all the challenges. God has power to deal with them. And it makes it clear, when we go through the Bible from Revelation, uh, Genesis to Revelation, you see how God has shown himself that, look, there is no situation that can come to him that will make him shift you know it's not possible when we look at the issue of you know fire is burning fire is this fire is this even physical fire when the three uh hebrew boys were thrown into physical fire god went there you didn't hear me god even though it was not time for jesus to be made manifest on earth but because he saw the faith of these boys, the Bible says he came down and went there. I'm asking God to intervene. Maybe you are in prison. Maybe the world has put you in one prison or the other that has become fire in your life. This month, God will enter that place with you and bring you out in the name of the Lord Jesus. Maybe you, 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 you just find that there are so many challenges which you call mountain, you call valley, you call crooked way. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 4, it said it will level all mountains. A divine intervention is by God leveling the mountains of your life. Leveling. Maybe you are in debt, you know, or you just don't know how you got yourself to financial debt. 
and it, it has become <laughs> huge. My God will help you out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He will help you out. Maybe you just find that you are just lonely, you are depressed, you know, the issues of life are just compounded. You can't explain it to yourself. You know, I am asking God to give you joy. You see, it was when the Spirit of God departed from, from, from uh, Saul, who he made king, that the Bible says he became melancholous. I'm praying tonight, whatever has made you to be depressed, my God will answer for you and will intervene for you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Maybe it's just sickness. And all you are, you say, Pastor, that, that this matter has been there. This my leg. You know, some people even personalize sickness. It's not your sickness in the name of Jesus. Even though it has found itself to your body, don't personalize. Don't say, this my headache. This my this my diabetes. This my uh, high blood pressure. This my it's not your property. It belongs to the devil. You are a property of God. We never heard that Jesus was here and he had a diabetes. He had cancer. He had ulcer because it was not his own. They ran away from him. They are going to run away from you from tonight in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. God will showcase Himself. By the power in the blood, in the name of Jesus. What I'm saying that is my concern is, you know, they said, um, give somebody a fish, and then you feed it for one day. But when you teach somebody to fish, that person can do what? Can live for life. And that's what I want to say in these five, ten minutes. How do I get God to intervene? When there is no pastor, when there is no brother, when there is no, my wife is not there, my son is not there, those people you call as prayer partner, they are not there. What do you do to activate God? What do you do to, 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 to move God in your life? Number one, belong to Him. The Bible says, The Spirit beareth witness with us that we are the children of God. Romans chapter 8, verse 9. The Bible says, If the Spirit is not in us, we are not of His. Let somebody, uh, something tell you that, look, you are a child of God. It's not that, oh, I'm a member of CAC Better. I'm a member of Redeem. I'm a member of MFM. I'm a Catholic. I'm this. No, that's not, the Bible doesn't have those classifications. All are just new packages for us to be more convenient for us to worship. What is important is that God knows you. You know God as your father. I know Jesus is my life. It's my Lord and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? That's what the Bible says in Psalm 27. He said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall? He said, when the enemy came to eat up my bones and my flesh, the Bible said they did what? They fell. Because you know it's your Lord and salvation. Until you know him, personalize God. You can call him on phone. You can call him in the night. Call him in the toilet. Call him where we are on this line. You know he will answer you. When you get to that level, my friend, God will intervene. No, no there is no living man. The Bible says in Luke chapter uh, uh, 11 verse 13, it said, If your heavenly, if your earthly father have any problem, uh, uh, if you ask your earthly father for bread, he said they will not give you stone. He said, how much more in God? He repeated the same thing in uh, uh, Matthew chapter 7, verse uh, 13. He said, if you ask me anything, I will do it. It is based on one thing, the relationship. I want to encourage you, brother. Don't, don't, don't deviate. Get yourself to a level that you know Jesus is your Lord and Savior. Number two, believe that God can throw that trouble away. I keep saying it. There is, no, there is nobody who will have faith for you. I can pray for you now, but that doesn't replace your personal faith. I'm talking tonight about how to get God to intervene for you. I can pray for you, exercise faith on your behalf to a degree. But when you have your own faith, you, you, when, when, when the, the, the issue arises, and you can't call on anybody. Something arises in your spirit. Something jumps up in your mind, mindset that God, 
my God, my God, my God, my God. Nobody had faith for Jesus. Nobody had faith for, for those people. You know, there were two things that happened when uh, Jesus was about to be crucified. The Bible says two of his disciples messed up. One was Judas. Judas betrayed him. But what did he do? He went and hung himself. But also, Peter denied him. What did he do? He repented. He had faith. He knew that, look, this God will take me back. This is not the end of my life. For you to for God, get God to intervene in your life, I beg you in the name of Jesus, develop the attitude that this God is my God. I shared with them yesterday about how David had that understanding that this, when all of them, all the kings were, <laughs> King Saul, all the military leaders were running away, he said, no, 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 you don't run away from the enemy, you confront the enemy. He had the boldness, he had the tenacity. It is called faith. The Bible says, Mark 11, 23, 24, he said, if you say to this mountain, move, and you will not doubt in your heart, he said it will move. Whatever you are believing God to intervene tonight, God will do it for you. God will intervene. God will change the situation. God will visit you. God will glorify himself. Your faith will set you free. Look at all the cases that Jesus intervened in their matters. As they bring them, he will say your faith has made you. Look at Bartimaeus. Look at the Syrophoenician woman. Look at the blind man. All of them, he will say your faith, your faith, your faith. It is a personalized thing. May the Lord grant you divine faith in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. The third one is develop the attitude of bringing your challenges to God. I know you know that and that's why we are here tonight. But I'm saying it again. No matter, no matter the matter you are facing, no matter how gigantic, no matter how un 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 unimaginable it is, there is no problem that is beyond God. Cultivate the habit. Some people when they are sick, that's when they will say, I, I can't go to church. When they have challenges, they, say, that's, they find every excuse not to go to church. Some people, this is prayer line now. They, it doesn't cost them anything. Just to call online, but because they have don't they and they have challenges they are facing, but because they have not developed the attitude of crying to God over their matter, they have known to, how to beg man, how to oh my uncle will bail me out, my uncle will give me my friend, your uncle is also a human being, your dad is a human being, your wife is a human being. Why can't you go direct to God? Hallelujah! And as you go to God. You will see the hand of God in your life. God is waiting for you to call on Him. God is waiting for you to showcase yourself. God is waiting to, for you to... I'm not against coming to pastor. I'm not against... I mean, I shared the, an experience where the woman, in Second Kings chapter 4, went to the man of God, and the, the man of God gave a word of knowledge. is good. Amen. But God says, by the time Jesus was on the what? In the, on the cross, the Bible says from 12 to 3 p.m. There was darkness. The veil in the, in the temple the, that separates the Holy of Holy fell down. From that time, we have access to God. No matter the challenges in your life, how do you get God to intervene? It's by coming to Him. Number four, don't walk in sin. Don't walk in sin, my friend. Don't tell lies. Don't do... Whether it is white lie or black or black lie or red lie, anything that we make God to say, look, look. I mean, it's just it's a natural thing. It's a natural thing. Even though, you, I mean, I have children by the grace of God. I pray God will give you children, those who haven't got in the name of Jesus. But when there is a strange relationship between the child and the and the parents, guess what? Even if they have a thing, they they can't boldly come. They can boldly come. They can even be sending people. What they normally they would go there and take and say, Daddy, I need this, I need this. But because they have not done what their father wanted them to do, they have not done what their mother wanted them to do, what do they do? They will find them, you know, they can't. That's what sin does. When you are, when you are living in sin, when you, are, you, you, you don't do what God wants you to do, it's difficult for you to come straight to God. So what you need to do, the Bible says, First John chapter 1, verse 9, it says, if you confess your sins, it's faithful and just to forgive you and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. I just want one or two more uh, uh, 
so that we can begin to pray tonight. That was number four. Number five is uh, give sacrificially. Learn to give to God. Learn to give to God. It's, you know, I said it. Tithe is not, uh, it's just the base. It's a kindergarten thing. It's, it's to have a life of giving. A man of God came today uh, over the weekend and I heard that he was going away today. I had to rush to him to give him offering. To give him offering. He's a man of God. He's been blessing everybody. He's all over the place. Do something for him. You can afford it. It's a spirit. It's a spirit. It's a spirit. That is an answer. I don't know his own prayer. <laughs> you are, I'm sure you have had the case of uh, two people praying in a church. And there was a wealthy man. <laughs> the wealthy man was praying the Lenke prayer. And this other man was praying, God, give me a, 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 a television. Give me a television. Give me a, Everybody has television. Give me a television. And the, and the, and the man could not even concentrate anymore. He, he has to stop what he was doing and ask the, ask the man, how much is your television you are asking for? And this is a Nigerian contest. He said, it's 10,000 naira. He said, look, I will give it to you. Just continue something. Keep quiet. Let me concentrate. God has a way of answering your prayer. Amen. The Lord will give you grace to do what he wants to do in your life. Learn the habit of being an answer, 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 answer to somebody's uh, uh, challenge. And the Lord will help you in Jesus' name. Wait for God's intervention. The last one is wait for God's intervention. Yeah, a lot of things that you ask God, holy, holy, holy. God's timetable is not our own. The fact that you pray tonight, God did not do immediately, does not change God. Amen. You can't embarrass God. You, can, you cannot push God. Amen. God has timetable for things. Learn to be patient. He said go from patience to long suffering. Hallelujah. I'm praying for somebody tonight that's your time to have the blessing will come in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says the, the man at uh, John chapter 5 by the pool of Pensida waited, waited. When there was no hope for him to get to that water when he's troubled once in a year. But he waited and Jesus intervened. I see Jesus walking to you tonight. I see Jesus walking to you tonight in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to bless the name of the Lord because he will come to visit you now. Are you believing God for favor? Are you believing God for a baby? Are you believing God for a miracle? Are you believing God for a house? Are you believing God to pass your exam? Are you believing God to, you know, to give you a breakthrough? Are you believing God for a housewife? Are you believing God for a house husband? Whatever it is you are believing God for, God will walk to you tonight. God is walking to you, walking to you, walking to where you are. I see him walking there. I see the angel of God surrounding you tonight. They are ministry spirits. God is sending them to bless you. Masha Korobuso Korea. Begin to pray tonight. Begin to pray tonight. As I said tonight, it's about it's about the battles of your life. The battles of your life. I just gave you that precursor so that when issues come, you know how to handle them. You know how to how to battle. You know how to battle. But tonight, I want you to pray that God will intervene in the challenges of your life. In the challenges of your life. Where they have put a limit upon your life. Where there is stagnation. Where there is embarrassment. That's where I want you to focus on tonight. That's where I want you to challenge God tonight. Let's look at that story again. I want you to pray from... Uh, John chapter 5. John chapter 5. John chapter 5. John chapter 5. Blessed be the name of the living God. Leki reki posa kuria babuzuria. Maleki reki posu kurubuzu kuria. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Look at verse 4. He said, In this lay a great multitude of imported folk, of blind, hot, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. You, you, I don't know your own limitation. Maybe you are blind. Maybe you are impotent. Maybe you are this. You say, Lord, I am tired of being among the, the, the what? The impotent folk. Begin to pray tonight. I'm, I'm tired of being among the poor. 
I'm tired of being among the, the struggling. I'm tired of being among the, 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 the layabout, the wasted ones. I'm tired. Begin to pray tonight. Begin to pray tonight. They begin to pray tonight. He said, now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue beside the having five portions. In this lay a great multitude. There are so many people that are multitude. They are suffering. You must come out of them tonight. Begin to pray. I'm not, I don't belong to the multitude of wasted, wasted ones, wasted generation. Those multitude that have hypertension, multitude that have cancer. No, that is not where God designed for you. Begin to pray tonight. 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 He said they are waiting for the moving of the water. They are waiting for physical manifestation. They are waiting for somebody, you know, somewhere. They are waiting for an angel. But you don't take, listen to me. Your case has gone beyond the Indian matter. You are a child of God. He's he's hearing you tonight. Shakandaraba Korea. Mozoko Robo Soria. I want you to say, Lord, I come by faith to you tonight. I am leaving this stage of frustration. I'm tired of being among the multitude in America, among the multitude that are jobless, among the multitude that are barren, among the multitude that have no focus, among the multitude that have no vision, among the multitude that are divorced, among the multitude that are poor, among the multitude. Ah, my Lassika Pori Masike Riba Korea, begin to move out tonight. God, pull me out of this multitude. Take me out of evil multitude. If maybe you are hearing me or watching me, you know, from, from, from prison here tonight. Say, you don't belong to that place. The Bible says, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the meek and to bind the broken hearts, to set the captives free, to open the prison gates to them that are bound. I need you to begin to pray tonight. I'm coming out of that prison. I'm coming out. Any, any, any environment that does, I mean, this man was there for 38 years. How can you be in the multitude of of things you don't want for 38 years and you you cannot you cannot springly come out and say no Shakora Boso Korea when I came to this country I saw people riding good cars, living in good houses. I said to myself, Canada, you will vomit the money I'm, I'm bringing here. Canada I will not live in poverty here. No, you will not live in poverty. You will not live in wretchedness. Mosako Rababo, Loso Koriba Kuribasila Korea, Maleke Rebo Soko Robo Soko Ribasila, Masende Rebo Korea, Rike Posa Kuribasike Riabo Shenda. In Jesus, they were prayed. I want you to, 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 to be aggressive tonight. We finished service yesterday. We normally wait the, for the accounts and so on. And then the, the, somebody came to me and said, Sir, somebody is, is, is here He wants to see you. And I said they should bring the man. And he came. Oh, pastor, I know, I know you, won't, you won't like what me. You know, because I've been here before. You know, and... Uh, I, I ask you to give me money. You give me money. You know, I'm still here. He say I'm on disability. My disability will be approved, you know, in August and so on and so on. And he went to town. I said, look, your case is like that of uh, Acts chapter 3. I'm going to give you money, but I have something more than money. I showed him our, our church bulletin. I said, this is our month of divine intervention. You don't need to be telling lies going from church to church after service. Looking for where pastor, one pastor is hanging. I say, are you married? He says, he's not married. Do you have children? He's not. Uh, how old are you? He says, 48. I say, you need divine intervention. I don't know your case tonight, my sister, my brother. You don't need to be going from one place to the other. Looking for her when, when there is God in heaven, who can intervene in your matter? The Bible says the, the angel went down. Uh, 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 the, there's a great multitude of impotent folk. Impotent. You are not impotent. Reject every labor of the devil. You reject everything that the devil has put upon you. Whatever is making you to walk around begging for crumbs. Begging for crumbs when you have the mighty God in heaven. 
Just because you cannot cry to him. Just because you cannot exercise faith. Just because you cannot sacrifice. No, you must pay the price. If the price is prayer, pay it. If whatever is will, will cost you, that's what they call sacrifice. Sacrifice is paying the price for your deliverance. Paying the price for your salvation. Paying the price for your divine intervention. The, 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 the Solomon paid the price. The Bible says he sacrificed 1,000. And, and he became known to the whole world. God said, among all that you will see, nobody will be as rich as yours. Oh, as yourself, my God and my Father. Whatever it will take tonight, I'm leaving the company of the multitude of folks who are impotent, who are death ridden, who are frustrated, who are limited, who cannot make it. Oh, Shakuri Maskenda, come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I ask for you to intervene, 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 intervene in my life, intervene in my situation. Maybe it is not you, maybe it is your child. Why don't you cry to God tonight? God, you have the power, you have the power to intervene, you have the power to away. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus, mighty name we are praying. Look at verse 4. John chapter 5 is what we are praying from. He said, for an angel went down and sat a season into the pool and troubled the water. Whatsoever then first after the troubling of the water stepping was made whole. You know, that's a trickling. That's a trickling miracle. Once in a year, one person. <laughs> Can you imagine even the, the, the smallest of churches? You have 20, you have 30, you have 100. There are churches who have 1 million people. Imagine, you, they are waiting for one, one, one person to receive miracle in one, in one year. One person who first comes to it. Jesus changed the situation. Somebody said Jesus changed the situation. The Bible says, and the certain man was there who had an infirmity, 30 and 80 years. And when Jesus saw him lying and knew what he had been now, a long time in that case, he said unto him, What thou be made, will thou be made whole? The important man answered him, Sir, I have no man. Hey, Shaloko so Koriyama. I hear God asking you to question, and you are you are you are you are you are you are debating. Lord, I'm tired of debate. I'm tired of intellectual intellectual prowess that does not bring solution to me. I'm tired of 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 intellectual ability that does not help my life. Begin to pray tonight. Begin to pray tonight. Will thou be made or will you want me to intervene? Hear the word of God. Will you make me to come to your situation? Lord, every argument, every diversion, every, every way I've been messing up. You know, some people will not come to church. Some people will not pray. No, God is asking you, can you just, can you, do you want me to help you out? Do you want me to help you out? I hear God say, do you want help tonight? Say, Lord, I need help tonight. I need help tonight. I need help tonight. I need help tonight. Rababo soko robo bobo shoria. Reke bo soko robo bobo shoria. Maseke re bo soko riba kuria. Masike, I'm, I need your help tonight. I'm tired of argument. I'm tired of, you know, putting blame. He's my husband. He's my wife. He's my this. He's my this. There is no man to help me. My husband didn't help me. My parents didn't help me. My brothers didn't help me. My sisters didn't help me. My uncle didn't help me. My pastor didn't help me. I, I, there is no man. So, keep quiet. Keep quiet and call on God tonight. Keep quiet and call on God tonight. Rababo soko robo soria. Yeke seke rebo. The veil has been taken away. The veil has been taken away. Come to Jesus tonight. Jesus is by your side. Will you be made whole? Do you want me to take a, a new step for you? Mashako robo soria. Thank you, our God. In Jesus' name we are praying. Look at verse 8 there. Jesus says unto him, Rise, take up thy bed and walk. When you are on a bed of sickness tonight, if whatever affliction is upon you, hear the word of the Lord. Rise up, take up your bed and walk. Rise up, take up your bed and walk. That yesterday, I ministered to that man. I said, from today, accept Jesus into your life. He let down, accepted Jesus. I said, the trouble of your life that I, for 48 years has ended tonight. That's yesterday. For whatever, no matter how old you are tonight, I don't know how long your trouble is. Hear the word of the Lord. The
The Bible says, rise up and walk. I terminate the problem of your life. I terminate the problem of your life. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray tonight. Lord, terminate, 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 barrenness, terminate, wastefulness, terminate, uh, 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 lameness, terminate, blindness, whatever, whatever be your situation. One word from Jesus is enough for you tonight. Masike Poso Korea, and Jesus is coming to deal with this, with that situation. You are living that situation. You are living that situation. You are living that situation. Jesus spoke to this man, rise up, take up your bed and walk. I said, come out of debt, come out of barrenness, come out of frustration, come out of limitation, in the name of Jesus, Moseko Robo Sokoria. The Bible said, believe the word of God, and you shall be established. Believe the prophets, and you shall be, you shall be saved. O Rababo Sokorobo, and you shall prosper. I command you to prosper in health. I command you to prosper in health, in wealth, in prosperity, in the name of Lord Jesus, come out. Come out of your frustration. Let your business come out of, of bankruptcy. In the name of Lord Jesus. All you are complaining, complaining about people getting blessed. No, no more complaint for you. Lord, I'm going to possess my possession. Possess my possession. I possess my possession. I possess my possession. I possess my possession. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Masandaraba Korea. Thank you, our God. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Do you know that Jesus didn't ask, how did, uh, what's, uh, so how did you become lame? How, uh, so how did, you, uh, how did you get here? No, that's, that's not important to Jesus. What is important is not your past. What is important is your future. You didn't hear me. What is important to you is not your past. It is your future. Speak to your future tonight. Lord, let my future be glorious. Intervene in my matter. Give me a better future. Give me a better future. Are you looking for a job? A mouth-watering job. Do you have a business? Give me a better business. A better prospect. Harapa Osokorobo Sharia. Maleke Repo Sokoria. Give me a better future. God came down in the personality of Jesus. Gave this man a glorious future. Hallelujah. No more wasting away in one spot. No more wasting away. He made him a, 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 a showpiece. Today we cannot forget him, even though we don't know his name. But God changed his story. I see God changing your story tonight. When God intervenes in any matter, he changes their story. He changes their story. Your story must change tonight. Maloko so Korea Bashina. Whatever I need to do, Lord, to move me forward. Lord, come and help me. 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 In the name of Lord Jesus. Rababobo so Korea Bazinde. Yeke Rebo so Koriba Korea. Yeke Seke Riba Sinda. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' name we are praying. Say after me tonight, Lord, let my time of favor come. Let my time of favor come. There are many folks in this place. Many. The Bible calls it multitude. But Jesus touched this man. That's what they call favor. Favor is what singles you out in your church, in your community. What favor is what singles you out in your in your place of work. Favor is what singles you out in America, in Canada. Lord, let favor single me out. Let favor promote me. Let favor distinguish me. Begin to pray tonight. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Don't limit God. I've told you. All you need is faith. All you need is to belong to Jesus. All you need is to cry to God. All you need is to sacrifice. And you have done that one. You are in, in need for tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mashakorobo Soria. Mosakoriba Sindaraba Korea. Lord, favor me. Favor me. Favor me. Favor me. Ask God to favor you. Ask God to favor you. Ask God to favor you. It's, it doesn't need it doesn't need favor in heaven. It doesn't need favor in heaven. It doesn't cause God. It's not that uh, when He has healed somebody, then His uh, His uh, His uh, healing power is diminished. Because no, no. Even though virtue goes out to Him, but they are replenished automatically. Hallelujah. Masanto robo bo shoria. Yeke rebo so kuriba kuriba sida kuria. Yeke rebo so kurobo bo shoria. Masike riba ko shalia. Wherever you have been waiting in uh, Charlotte, in uh, in uh, Pennsylvania, in America, in the Bible says he was waiting by the pool of Bethsaida. You will say tonight, I've been for, waiting for you in North York, Toronto. I've been waiting for you in uh, Tobico. I've been waiting for you in Mississauga. I've been waiting for you in Brampton, Lord. Touch me tonight. Touch me tonight. 
Touch me tonight. Touch me tonight. Touch me tonight. Touch me tonight. Touch me tonight. Touch me tonight. Touch me tonight. Touch me tonight. In the name of Jesus. Touch me tonight. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, our God. I give you praise. I give you honor. I give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. I sent out some prayer points uh, in the month. Uh, if you don't receive it and you need it, please call me back. But we normally have a newsletter. And I want to read some prayer points from what I sent out. I want her to say it. Amen. It says in Numbers 29 verse 1. I want us to look at Numbers 29 verse 1. Numbers 29 verse 1. The Bible talks about the seventh month. Anybody can read it if you see it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Numbers 29, verse 1. Is anybody there, please? Yes? And in the seventh month, on the tenth day of the month, yes. he shall have an holy convocation, he shall do no war. Amen. Look at Genesis chapter 8, verse 4. He said, in the seventh, what is important to me is that this is the seventh month. In Genesis chapter 8, verse 4, he talk about the seventh month. In Psalm 138, verse 7, he talk about perfection. Lord, this is the seventh month of the year 2017. Visit me. Visit me. Don't let this month pass me by. Begin to pray tonight. Begin to pray tonight. Begin to pray tonight. Begin to pray tonight. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. This is the seventh month. Seven speaks of perfection. This is the this is the seventh month. Honor yourself in my life. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. A Bible says in, in uh, Genesis chapter 13 verse 2. Genesis chapter 13 verse 2. Uh, 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 Genesis 26 uh, verse 12 to 13. And Genesis chapter 43 verse 30. We are not going to read them but you can take them in. In, in, in Genesis 13 verse 2 the Bible says, And the Lord blessed Abraham in cattle, in ox. In Genesis uh, 26 verse 12, the Bible says, And the Lord, you know, and the man I see began to work stronger and stronger, and he began to prosper. When divine intervention comes, it changes your level. Hallelujah. And changes your level from generation to generation. In Genesis 43, we see how the Bible says Jacob was exceedingly blessed. When, when you change the trajectory of your of your family. It doesn't matter how poor your family has been. And yes, I'm speaking to somebody tonight. You will change the history of your family. You will change the history of your family. You will change the history of your family. We never heard that the father of Abraham was poor. I mean, was rich. But he changed the history. Begin to pray tonight. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, that changed the trajectory of this family, changed my family history. Change my family history for good in the mighty name of Jesus. Let my generation never suffer poverty. Let my generation never suffer poverty. Begin to pray. Begin to pray tonight. Begin to pray tonight. He said, the work stronger, 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 stronger. You will be healed tonight. Strength is your portion in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Masako robo bobo shokuria. Le boske reke posu koria bashinda. Le ke rebo boso koria basike riba. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Prayer number eight says every person needs a man to help him get to his destination in life because men are God's method. Pray, oh Lord, this man, let the man that I need meet me, the man that I need to change my career. Jesus, the Bible says he was a man, even though he was God. When Jesus came to John chapter 5 verse 7 there, the Bible says he came as a man and he exercised authority as God and he set his, uh, his destiny change. The man that I need to change my destiny, the man that I need to, to take me from poverty to riches. All these people, you hear this one gave contract. There is a woman in Nigeria, I'm not going to mention it. She's coming here in August. She's, the, 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 she's in the FOB. Uh, uh, what Forbes magazine as the richest woman in Africa. 
This woman was a tailor, what they call tailor, sewing mistress. All she needed that happened to her was she met one of the military leaders who gave her uh, uh, oil, 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 oil block. Now she's the. You will meet the right man. Maybe for husband, maybe for divine connection in business. Ask God tonight, this month, Lord, by divine intervention, let me meet the right man that will help my destiny. You need that right man. You need that right man. You need that right man. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. You will not be. You will not be. You will not die in the destiny of, of poverty. That's what I'm saying tonight. Your spirit will be, will be alive. I need men that will help me in ministry. Yes. I need men that will help me in ministry. People that will build churches. I say, Pastor, that I go there. People that will say, go. Or to, or, or, I mean, a, a pastor came here the other time do, during International Gathering of Eagles Conference in Port Harcourt in Nigeria. He said, somebody came and gave him 10 million way back, more than 20 years ago, to go and be planting churches. I need men to bless my life. Begin to pray tonight. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Lord, Men that will change my trajectory. Men that will be instrument of God to assist me to get to what you want me to do. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, ask God to help you. Rababo soko robo soria. When you are starting up in life, somebody will employ you. You need men that will employ you. You need men that will take you. When Joseph was in prison, it was a man, a man he interpreted dream for. He, he told the man, he said, when you get to the palace, he said, remember me. The man forgot him. You need men. That's what I'm saying for divine intervention. God doesn't come down. God sends men to do things he wants to do. Pray for the right men in your life. Ask God to remove the wrong men, the wrong men, the wrong woman that is frustrating you. Let God remove them. Give you the right man that will change and assist you in life. In the mighty name of Lord Jesus. Mosoko Robo Boshuria. Reke Posoko Robo Boshuria. In Jesus' name we are prayed. The Bible says, Psalm 11, verse 3. It says, If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? The righteous can pray. Oh Lord, change every faulty foundation in my life. Destroy every faulty foundation. Destroy, destroy. Jesus intervened in the... This man was lame. Lame from birth. But God changed it. He changed the foundation. He changed the foundation. Lord, whatever I've been carrying, baggages that I've been carrying, in the past that is hindering my life, change it tonight. 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 In the name of Jesus. Change it tonight. Change it. Whatever makes people to know you for evil. Whatever makes people for to know you for a, a, a angry man, always angry. He's a man of anger. He's a, he's a 419 man. He's a deceit. He's a shit. No, that's your foundation. It has to change. Jesus has the power to change your foundation. Mosoko Roboscoria. You are 50, you are still wet in bed. You are 50, you have not had children. No, that's a faulty foundation. Let God change it tonight. Lord, change my destiny. Change my faulty foundation. Change my faulty foundation. Thank you, our God. In Jesus' name we are praying. Prayer number 10 says, You intervene for Israel in Exodus 14 and parted the Red Sea. Yes, ask God to part the Red Sea of your life. What is the Red Sea? What is blocking you from making progress? Pray tonight, my God and my Father. Lord, I pray tonight that we part the Red Sea. Part the Red Sea. Part the Red Sea. Part the Red Sea for me. Part the Red Sea for me. Do the impossible. Do the supernatural. Do the controversial. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Mashako Robo Sokoria. Yeke seke reke po sokoria buska. Leke rika puri basike riba koria. Lo soko robo bobo shuria. Mo soko riba bashindera babo In Jesus name we are praying. Lord look at my investment. Let it blows up. Look at my investment. Maybe it's your children. Maybe it's your wife. Maybe it's your husband. Maybe it's you are selling cement. You are online business. Uh, 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 physical business. Lord, look at my investment. Let it move forward. Let it move forward. Begin to pray tonight. Begin to pray tonight. One more prayer and I'm going to take a, 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 a prayer points. Masako lobobo shoria. Yeke reke poso kori basi keri bakoria reke poso korobo shokori basina. Yes, let my investment blossom in the name of Jesus. Lay your hand on my life. 
Lay your hand on my business. Lay your hand on my career. Lay your hand on my womb. That womb, let it open. Let it open. That's your investment in your marriage. Let barrenness go in the name of Jesus. Let failure go in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. This last prayer, then we we'll take prayer points before we go. Oh Lord, you intervene in the case of the Jews, Mordecai and Esther, and deliver them from death penalty. Lord, deliver me from death penalty. The decrees of the wicked men. You see, there is no point all these things. You have all the, all the money, you are not enjoying it because they are carrying you from hospital to hospital. No, you must live long. You must live, not long, just live long, you must live in good health. The enemy wanted to terminate their lives, not just one. There are some enemy that want to terminate a whole family. They just want to waste them. Lord, deliver me from covenant of death. Begin to pray tonight. Deliver my husband. Deliver my wife. Deliver my children. Deliver our church. Deliver our community. Covenant of death. Decree of death. The decrees. The decrees. The decrees of Haman. The decrees of Haman to terminate my future. Lord, I say tonight, let it be abrogated. Let it be abrogated. Let it be abrogated. Let it be abrogated in the mighty name of Jesus. Every decree of evil, every decree of death, every decree of sickness, every decree of barrenness, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. The Bible says I shall live, I shall not die. I shall declare the good works of God. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Any prayer point, please, quickly. Hallelujah. All right. I assume there's no prayer point. Thank God for everything. Let's pray for everybody that is on the line in the name of Jesus that God will meet their needs. There are people, thank God, I have so many, uh, 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 um, what is it called this week? So many, so many, so many testimonies about immigration. If you are here on this line tonight, key into it. Tonight, God has intervened in your matter. Yes, let's begin to pray for everyone on this line, whether for immigration, for war, for whatever this, they need. Lord, intervene, intervene, intervene. Lord, I come to you tonight concerning every man on this line, concerning every man watching me on Periscope, on YouTube, hear the word of the Lord. I ask God to intervene in your matter in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, let God intervene. That thing that looks insurmountable. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 4, it says, Every mountain shall be leveled, every valley shall be filled, every crooked way shall be straightened. I command the power of God to straighten your life, to straighten your life. Whatever is bringing confusion, whatever is bringing frustration, go in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, our God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Of course, you remember, we always not forget that. Join me to pray for the International Garden of Eagles Conference, that God will help us. Let's pray for CAC better. Pray for your church. Pray for your pastor, wherever you are, and ask God to move his church forward. The church is, is facing a lot of uh, challenges, but the Bible says, God said specifically, the gate of hell shall not prevail. Maloko robo so kuriya basinda yeke se kirebo soria. Yes, Lord, let's ask God to help us with the International Garden of Eagles Conference, the one in Canada, September 14 to 17, 2017. In the name of Lord Jesus, we are going to Nepal, we are going to Pakistan, we are going to all over the place to Liberia, to Sierra Leone. Let God go ahead of us this year. Let God meet the needs of people in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let God help people. He walked he walked to the man by the pool of Bethsaida, and he changed his life. Let God take us to nations that we will change, be instrument of change, to change the lives of people. Let's pray as many as we come to Canada, from Sierra Leone, from Africa, from Asia, from South Africa. Lord Jesus Christ, this this year that God will walk into their life in the name of Jesus Christ. We remove their lameness. We remove their bitterness. We remove every evil in their lives and change their situation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father Lord. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Thank you all for coming tonight. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Let me pray for you as we close. My Father, my God, 
This is our month of divine intervention. I speak life. I speak intervention. You told me tonight that, Lord, you change the story of this man by the pool of Bethsaida. The Bible said there were multitude. They were a multitude of evil, multitude of blind people, frustrated people, sick people, barren people. And then you single out this man. I said tonight, Lord, everyone hearing me, Lord Jesus Christ, single them out for healing. Single them out for deliverance. Single them out for manifestation of goodness in their lives in the name of Jesus. Bring them out of poverty. Bring them out of struggling. Bring them out of frustration in the name name of Jesus Christ. Is there somebody here tonight that has not known you as Lord and Savior? Lord, bring him out of those ones that are going to hell. Let nobody after hearing this message go to hell in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for what you have done. I command blessing upon your life. Healing upon your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody's on this line. Tonight is your night with destiny. You will get your papers. It doesn't matter where you are. You will get your paper. Whether it's in America. Whether it's in England. Whether it's Canada. Wherever you are calling from. Tonight God says he has intervened in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus I see God giving you somebody. Olympic touch. God is saying to somebody, continue with your business because you are carrying Olympic touch. Your, your, your business will be known worldwide in the mighty name of Jesus. Favor shall distinguish you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We will meet again this line next Monday to the glory of God. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. God bless you. We thank God for your life. And uh, I believe God has intervened in your matter. Continue to, to without prayer. Take that special prayer of uh, John chapter 5. And then please, there are prayer guidelines that I've sent out. Please use them. Take time to pray them. Take them to pray them. I'm giving you what it takes for you to intervene, for God to intervene in your life. Work on those things. Work on yourself. Amen. It's not when the month is passed, you say, oh, yeah, God has not done my own. No, 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 no. Pay the price. Do the sacrifice. Give the time. Give the money. Give the vision. Whatever you need to give to get yourself out. This is your month of divine intervention. And I will see you on the top in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. If we are in GTA, this is what we are saying. We uh, meet by the grace of God at uh, 94K Drive, uh, Unit 22, every Sunday, 10 a.m. It's a wonderful time in the presence of God. You don't want to miss that one. Amen. And as you come, the Lord bless you. And every Wednesday, we do digging deep. We share the Word of God. We study the Word of God. We ask questions. Maybe there are things now I've said that you don't really understand uh, we, are, we are not, uh, you are not opportune to ask questions. Come to Bible study and um, we trash them out. The word of God is infallible. Everything that God has said and done is based on the word of God. It is ignorance that can keep somebody to not to study the word of God and wants to make progress. The Bible says, Joshua 1, it says, This book of the law shall not depart from you. But you shall meditate on it, what, day and night, and observe to do what is there. He said, and I will make your way prosperous and give you good success. I don't want to start another summer, but whether it's in Bible study or not, study the word of God. Study it until you prosper by it. Study it until you excel by it. Study it until you have good success. I mean, I'm excited by the revelation God gave tonight. I'm just excited. Because when you know what to do to bring divine intervention, you, you are on your way to divine intervention. Hallelujah. No matter what goes on, the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Good night and God bless. Pastor Dada.